Hello folks, welcome to another live edition of Theorycraft, but for this episode it's me by myself. Now, as you've seen in the previous video, Jack wanted to try and discuss the topic of the killing joke as a live adaptation and who to cast as the Joker. He's picked his three actors and I am pretty sure that he's picked some pretty amazing actors. But for my video, I want to try and discuss my three actors, not as the Joker, but the three actors to play obviously three important roles within The Killing Joke. But also I have one other actor and character that I've been fiddling about whether or not he could fit into the story as he's not a main focus. But for the main characters, obviously, we need Barbara Gordon, Jim Gordon, and of course, Batman, aka Bruce Wayne. So let's kick things off with Batman, of course. If I can show you guys how Batman in the Killing Joke animated version is meant to appear. So let's have a look. This version of Batman is quite a broad, quite a grizzled down version of Batman who's been around for so long that he's sort of wavering on the edge of how extreme his measures have to be against people such as the Joker. Now, obviously, we're not going to get a perfect Batman because each Batman style is always going to be different. However, I have come up with a rough idea as to who could be Batman, which I know a lot of you may disagree with me, but I think to a degree that Mark Wahlberg could be a decent version of Batman, purely because, for one, he does have the build, he has a very grizzled look to him, and... Although he has played a lot of characters that are very goofy because of him being a comedic actor more often than not, he also has had very extreme sort of brutal characters in the sense that he's very hardcore and very action man-y, which is kind of what Batman is. Not completely, obviously, but to a degree, it's an average man who is doing the best he can with the tools that he has on him. And especially in the Transformers movies, he has proven time and time again that he's able to adapt to his situations, and he does do very well for his action scenes. So, yes, I know, obviously, it's a random choice to choose, but again, this is just me spitballing ideas. So, of course, the next idea I want to try and pin across to you guys is Commissioner Gordon. Now, the thing is with Commissioner Gordon is that obviously he's an older man, he's meant to be like GCPD commissioner, he's in charge of the GCPD, but I'm not going for the style choice from the Killing Joke Commissioner Gordon, which is also the Br Bruce Tim style of artist. I want to try and go along the lines of the Dark Knight Returns design, this one here, where he's obviously a Bigger, heavy, bigger built man, more used to the chaos that is Gotham, obviously trying to do his best despite the fact that Gotham is just a, such a dark and twisted city. And so, in my opinion, someone that's grizzled, again, someone quite a big build, but an older actor to a degree, none other than, of course, Tom Selleck. Yes, again, I understand it's a very bizarre choice. It's a very random choice. But comparing this to the Commissioner Gordon from the Dark Knight Rises movie, it does work. I mean, he's a, he's getting on now. He's in his late 60s, probably early 70s. He's got the great iconic moustache, which works. But he's also got the attitude of not taking any shtick from anybody. He knows what he's doing. And he's able to put up, pull his, well, punch his way through if he needs to in a fight. Instead of just running away and panicking. Which seems to be quite apt for Commissioner Gordon a lot of the time. But that's just my opinion. And so we sort of 
come down to the last bits and pieces of my idea today, which obviously we need to figure out who would play Barbara Gordon. So, in my opinion, obviously she'd have to be in her young 20s because she's about a college student age. And I pitched this idea to Jack, and I'm pretty sure I've got this one down to a T. I'd say Emma Stone. Like, obviously, she's not a natural redhead, but she's got the fieriness to her that is Batgirl. She's very smart. She's absolutely stunning. And she's got this sort of attitude behind her that she's not like a damsel in distress. She can do what needs to be done as a leading lady of sorts to be the kick-ass action hero or superhero, however you want to word it, as Barbara Gordon. So if I can show you the styling of the Bruce Tim Barbara Gordon, you can obviously see to a degree where I'm coming from. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Like they may, if she were to obviously ever pick up the role, probably dye her hair a bit more of a brighter red than the image I just showed you. But I still think it could work. I mean, at the end of the day, this is just me spitballing ideas and Anybody who's got any ideas, obviously, you're more than welcome to pitch them down below in the comments and just give us some ideas in general. That like me and Jack can only do so much. We love to hear from you guys. I know there's a lot of you there watching us, so please just give us some ideas, please. That's all I ask. And so this is where I sort of spitballing to the end of my idea that although Nightwing isn't a major plot point within the Killing Joke story, I think it would be interesting to bring him in to a degree because obviously there's the weird love triangle between Batman, Barbara Gordon, and Nightwing. Like Nightwing and her do have an on-again, off-again relationship, but then also within the Killing Joke, there is the very intense scene between Batgirl and Batman on top of the roof. And I do think that we could do with a Nightwing of sorts. So I was doing some research of styles and different style, well, ideas of how Nightwings come across over the years. And to a degree, like there are elsewhere's elsewhere stories as well, such as this one, where he's a lot older, he's got the long hair, he's got a a lot of experience underneath his belt, so he's been Nightwing a long time, and that's what I think we need from this Nightwing as well, in terms of who to play him, which, in my opinion, is going to have to be Josh DeHamel. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I just think that with the way that he looks, like he's got the jizzled jaw, he's got the sort of attitude behind, like, he's not just a hardcore vigilante, he's just a tough guy, but also knows how to have a bit of a laugh. I mean, this is again just me spitballing ideas, I have no clue if anybody will agree with me, but this is just what I wanted to do as a brief video today. So thanks again for joining me, it's a bit short and sweet, but always welcome to drop down any ideas down below, and hope to see from... Yeah. Hope to hear from you guys soon.